Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and tonight I'm going to do a quick video on uh, what's called uh, dual antenna setups or multiple antenna setups on your base station or even in a mobile setup. Now there's two ways to go about doing that. Uh, you have your co-faced cable setups, which are usually used on 18-wheelers. Sometimes they were used on houses. I actually had a setup in my uh, many years ago in a house I lived in that was a co-phased setup. And a co-phase is where you take a cable that's perfectly matched as far as the length to each individual run and then it moves into a single cable run down to your radio. If they're spaced the exact distance they need to be spaced apart and they have matching antennas, they have to be the same antennas, you get uh, an amplification of the signal. Your antenna covers more distance, draws in more signal, and it's omnidirectional. The problem with a co-phased antenna setup is that if it's too close together or too far apart, instead of being omnidirectional, it becomes directional. And kind of like mounting your antenna on your car in the wrong location, your signal might get out better this way and this way than it does these ways. For some people, that's exactly what they were looking for. My case was exactly the what I was looking for in that house. There was a group of people that uh, always were on uh, channel 35 back in Raleigh. And they were always uh, down in a certain part of Raleigh. I was uh, two towns over. And I found that if I set my antenna array, my two co-phased antennas, uh, a certain distance apart and it became directional that I could get those signals much better than I could with just a single 18 foot, uh, I had a Shakespeare at that point, uh, pole antenna. So that's co-phasing, that's one strategy for amplifying signal, getting better signal. You can do it with Antron antennas, you can do it with base antennas obviously, steel whips, but in cars you're definitely going to always have it directional because there's just not enough space between the two windows or two sides of the bumper for you to have enough space for it to be omnidirectional. 18-wheelers is a different story. I believe when you see dual antenna setups on most of your 18-wheelers, those are co-phased antenna cabling setups. And generally speaking, they get out pretty good in all directions. So uh, they happen to be a lot wider than your average car. So that's what's going on there. Now your other big thing that used to happen back in the 80s and, and into the early 90s, which you would see on houses, would be two different antennas. You would have... Uh, a directional antenna, a, a beam antenna, which is where you have stacked beams. You have poles, three or four or five or six even, and those are lined up in a direction, and that's the direction you want to amplify your signal. And then you'd have another antenna on the roof, and it'd probably just be an Antron or whatnot, and it'd be just sitting on one side of the house, and that's your omnidirectional antenna. And again, the, the benefits of that, <clears throat> excuse me, are if I want to talk to just about anybody in the world, I can use my omnidirectional print, my, my Antron, to talk an equal distance in all directions. And if I'm trying to reach a certain group of people or trying to reach a certain individual, and I want to be able to reach farther than my radio is really capable of reaching, you switch to a beam antenna, and now you can point at that direction. Now, whether it's rotational or if it's just set in a specific location, that was up to you. You could put an antenna rotor on a beam if you want. But... To switch between the two isn't as easy as just having a co-phased uh, co cable set up because that would just wreak havoc since they're not matching antennas. You would need something like this. And this I picked up in a box of parts not too long ago. This is probably the most simple one I've ever seen, but it's an antenna switch, an AB switch, a coaxial switch, or, or a 1-2 switch. And, uh, you know, there's a close-up picture of the front, and uh, there's a there's a close-up picture of the cables. So you would have your your individual cable, your let's say your Antron coming into this side, your A99 pole, and then you'd have your phased beam array coming in on this side. And now when I want to talk to one group of people or the other, I can switch between the two without having to constantly be hooking or unhooking my radio because the center line goes to your radio. So the advantages to it are there. There is some disadvantages, and we talked about it in uh, base station antenna setups. Every time there is a connection, every time you have a screw here or a screw here or a screw here where your wires have to merge, you're losing uh, uh, roughly, no matter how quality the parts are, about a decibel of uh, signal strength. So something to keep in mind is 1 dB loss, 1 dB loss, 1 dB loss. So that's, that's the downside to it. But generally speaking, when, when you came across people that had dual antenna setups in their home, uh, that was those, those antennas pretty much made up for the fact that they were losing a little DB in the setup because these guys were real serious. And there was a time when people were re really serious about this stuff. Uh, let me put this back down. So, again, you've got your two setups. You, you, and I mean, I would love to have one. I could do that. I put a, a four uh, antenna beam set up there, and I could have a directional on an antenna rotor on this side of the garage. 
and I could turn that thing 360 degrees and find the groups that I want to listen to and talk to and set it stationary on those and then when I want to just listen for skip or whatnot well flip the switch to the other side my omnidirectional Antron is there pulling signals in from all over the world so uh, that's the advantages of having that kind of a setup anyway it's a short video but I have gotten some uh, requests on how to have more than one antenna hooked either through your car or uh, or through your house and this is the way to do it um, now for a car setup I don't think I've ever seen an AB switch or dual antenna setup in a car that was a was an AB switch There just doesn't seem to be any purpose to it um, if you're looking for maximum signal in a car the steel whip, 102 steel whip with a with a ball on it, you're, you're going to be, that's as good as you're going to get. So that's it for tonight. I'm Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the CB radio video, and I will see you next time. Take care.